This is where I am with the mic in my hand. Ain't nobody sweeter than me. So don't forget it. Yo, what's going on, y'all? This your girl, KK Rena. Ain't nobody sweeter. So don't forget it. I. And today I wanted to bring you a how to video. And this is basically a how to for all of you Sony Vio users and all of you smartphone users that have uh, Bluetooth on your smartphone. And it'll probably need to be a Sony Vio that is a year or two old and not any older. And a smartphone that's also a year or two or three old and not any older. Um, I don't know if this works with Apple PCs. I don't know if this works with all PCs. So you can always test it on your PC. But for the purposes of this video, um, let's just pretend that you know you only have a bio. And if you want to try this and leave in the comment sections, uh, the comments whether or not it worked for you on your Hewlett Packard or your um, well, whatever you, you use, your uh, Acer or whatever, um, then just you know just let me know in the comments. Anyway, let's get to it, shall we? So, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your smartphone and you're going to open it up and you're going to turn on your Bluetooth. And this should pop up. Um, if you have um, Bluetooth on your laptop, then it should show your available devices as your laptop. You might not have noticed this before, but it is very possible. So, if you have named your laptop, like I've named mine, Kokoro, then you'll notice that it's there. Otherwise, it just might be the name of the device itself. Um, example, Vio or whatnot. So, um, right now, Pokoro is not paired to my phone. So that's what I'm going to do first. So we're going to come over here. I don't know if you guys have Windows 8 or not. Um, Windows 7, whatever. But um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings. And you're going to open it up. Let me make sure you guys can see that. And you're going to go to PC settings. Change PC settings. And then up here um, where it says PC and devices, you're going to click on that. And then where it says Bluetooth, you're going to click on that. So um, it should say ready to pair when you look at it. Um, and on your phone, you should check the... Um, visible to all nearby Bluetooth devices. That's what it should say. Now this is about to time, um, the time is about to end, so that's fine. So what you're going to want to do is press it again, press the pair to um, the computer, and then press this to pair. Okay. And it says unable to communicate with Kokoro. So we'll come back up here and we'll go ready to pair. Okay, finally. So, does the passcode match this one? It's 500345. And on my phone it says 500345. So, I'm going to push yes. And then I'm going to push OK on my phone. And then it's going to start uploading. And now they are paired. See? That's paired. And this is paired. So basically it's paired. Now, um, 
when you exit out of here, this is going to be really neat. So let me get out of there on my phone. Um, when you pair, focus, focus you bastard. Okay. When you get out of there, um, you're going to want to come back to your desktop. And then you're going to see on your desktop that now there's this uh, Bluetooth operations window that popped up. And what this means is basically you get to um, use your Bluetooth device as PCs. Uh, you get to use the PC speakers for your Bluetooth device for stereo audio. You can also use it as a hands-free device and you can use it to send files and basically all kinds of fun stuff. So let me give you an example. If you come over here and you push connect, then this pops up. So then you come over to your phone and uh, oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Then you come over to your phone and select your music player, and you can play pretty much whatever you want. So. I'm going to play my favorite song in the whole world at this moment in time, and I'll let you hear a few seconds of it through the um, computer speakers. So. And that's not it. Hold on. That's not it either. God damn it. Here we go. Alright, so we got it working. Now you can control it from either your laptop or you can control it from your phone. Doesn't matter which one you choose, you can do both, pretty much. And you can also use it um, as a hands-free device if you want to and to send files back and forth like for instance um, uh, photos or movies. So it's, it's just kind of neat that way because you don't even have to hook your phone up in order to do this. Plus, it's really convenient because someone like me, who very obviously has iTunes, and there are songs that just aren't terrible with iTunes, and iTunes is really strict about um, their sharing policies, so I can listen to my favorite songs through my laptop, and, and I don't even have to worry about, you know, um, those policies. And also, yes, you do get pretty much all the noise from your phone through your speakers. So if that sounded like it echoed, it was because it was coming through my speakers too, as well as my phone. So there you have it. Well, guys, I hope that you really enjoyed this how-to. Um, I really appreciate you watching, and I hope that you put this to good use just like I do. Friends, loves, and butt faces. Until next time. Hey guys, hey guys, it's KK Rina. Go on, go on. Check my previous vid if you, if you find it pleasing. Will you, will you subscribe to me? Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate. Thank you.